All right, I'd like to go over the criteria for the spell check assignment for the search and sort algorithm. So basically, we're going to make a spell check program. We're going to use the linear search and the binary search. And the user will have the option to type in a word or to spell check a document, um, the, a provided document, Alice in Wonderland. Okay, I've got some start code for you, um, JavaScript start code, Python start code. If you're doing a different language, feel free to... Um, Here's the data files that you'll need, the dictionary and the Alice in Wonderland document. And then there's the criteria. So why don't I just demo, this is a JavaScript version here. And the start code will um, load the text file. So there's a text file with all the Alice in Wonderland um, book. And you can see that it's split it into an array of words. Now it's not perfect, the apostrophes it didn't deal with very well. So you'll get some errors and stuff, but don't worry about that. And then the dictionary is, uh, again, an array of words from a dictionary. This dictionary is not great. It's missing some pretty common words, but that's okay too. It'll work for our purposes. And the idea behind this is um, part one of your assignment is the user should be able to type in a word. Let's say, hello. They'll choose what um, search algorithm they want to use and hit submit. And it'll say, hello is in the dictionary at position, blah, blah, blah. If I type in a word that isn't a word, it'll say that it is not in the dictionary. And let's try hello again, but this time we'll do the binary search. Cool. And same thing, binary search is not in the dictionary. So that should work. Okay. And then the Alice in Wonderland spell check here is again, you just ch choose the linear search or the binary search. And when you hit submit, um, what I've done here is in the console, I'll print out all the words that are not found in the dictionary. Right, so it loops through all the words in Alice in Wonderland, checks if they're in the dictionary. If they're not, it'll print it out in here. And then down here, it'll have the result of the total number of words. Okay, so you hit submit, and it prints out these are all the words that weren't found in the dictionary. Do, 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 going through the entire thing, 2017 words not found in the dictionary. Okay, and like you'll notice here, it's not a great dictionary. Remembering, miserable, squeaking, execution, unfortunate, like these words should be in the dictionary. But like I said, it was just a file I found online and it's not a an exhaustive dictionary apparently. Actually I think the word ah wasn't in the dictionary. I think I added it. Okay, so that's the main idea. And then also you should do the binary search and hit submit, but I'm not going to do that for you because what I want you to see the big thing is here is comparing kind of the linear search and the binary search. Um even if you wanted to tie them, time them. But uh, you should should be able to see a difference. And then I also have uh, the same program, but with Python. And this one is just running in the console, right? And don't have a web page. We're just doing the console. And the same idea, right? Spell check a word. Hello, I would like to use the linear. Hello is in the dictionary at that position. This time I'll do hello again, but this time binary. Cool. Spell check Alice in Wonderland using binary. Uh, now let's do linear again. Using linear. And away it goes, checking all of the words. And it'll tell me how many words were not found when we do it. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, um, the basic criteria is doing that first, um, entering a single word. right? So the user can enter a word. It'll search the contents of the dictionary for the word the user has specified and report success or failure. And make sure your code looks good. And then the extended criteria is the... Um, search the contents of the dictionary with the search algorithm specified by the user for the words from the Alice in Wonderland story. And each word that is not found should be printed out along with a total count of all the words that were not found. Okay, and in this, this is a, this program is designed to, oh, it's still going, is to show you um, an implementation of the linear search and binary search, right? Search in a dictionary for, um, for these values. And then, um, yeah, it's an application of that. And uh, I'd recommend, you know, defining your linear search function and your binary search function, and then using those functions um, in the different scenarios. So you can do that code reusability. And uh, wow, it's interesting how Python is really slow here. I, you know, often the print operation is very slow. And I wonder if when I, the screen wasn't active, if it kept searching or not. It should have. Anyway, I guess I should have done binary. Unless my code is broken. Anyway, I'm going to pause and let this finish.
Okay, so it did finish and we ended up getting the same error count as we did with the JavaScript. Um, just uh, like I said, sometimes this print operation is slow in languages, printing to the console, so I might have slowed it down a bit. But that's where, you know what, we did linear search. I wonder if the binary search will be faster, will it be slower? That's what you're going to have to try to find out. Um, and like I said, there's some start code here for you. Um, the start code basically is just loading the files into the arrays. Um, that should be it. Have fun with this. Um, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.